And with that, we have our opening day matchup, folks. Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we have an exciting press conference for you. On the agenda, first up we've got the official rosters followed by the official divisions for this year, a change we're adding, and then the opening day matchup, date and teams. So this is going to be a good one. Stay tuned to the end where we release the opening day matchup and I'm excited for this one. Are you? Yes. Alright, for sure. So we're going to start off with the official rosters. Uh, uh, first of all, the Western Wolves, the defending champions, my team, got Logan Rose, Jay Tucker, and Dylan Grossman. You saw him earlier this year. Uh, those are the three for this year. And once, one more thing, uh, three-player minimum rule this year, so no more two players. Uh, what's, the, what's the Pacific Panthers looking like? My team, like? Uh, so it's not the finalized roster. We're probably going to add some more people, but for now it is Blake Husky, George Sukar, and myself. Yeah, good point there. Uh, teams, some teams will only have two, like Downtown Diamonds, but Dylan Fisher and Matthew Saba. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce it. But uh, players can still be signed up until opening day. Uh, these are the official rosters, but uh, players, yeah, correct. Uh, next up, we have the Coastal Cougars. Uh, lost in the, I believe it was first round of the playoffs last year, and they're coming back with a completely different roster. Uh, we have Luke Rose, Miles Pollock, uh, Braden Stroop, and Mason Ferris. So a four-team roster, the most in big league with ball. Four-player roster. Four-player roster, I should say. Uh, next up is the Arctic Altitude. We have Joey Jankowski, Braden Lewis, and Jackson Lewis. A very fun team to watch, and they're going to be one of the top uh, favorites for World Series. Uh, if you were betting, I, I put my money on them, along with the Pacific Panthers. And finally, we have the Eastern Extreme with Zach Rich, Zach Koss, and Captain Sam Novak. That team is a little young to whiffle ball, and I'm not sure how it's going to pan out, but they're going to be one of the most interesting teams in whiffle ball. So I'm excited for this 2021 season. Uh, it's going to be probably the most exciting season. Well, obviously the most one we've had, but we're looking to take a big jump. And with that, we're going to transition to the divisions. Um, so in the NL, we have the Pacific Panthers, Coastal Cougars, and Eastern Extreme. And the AL, we have the Wolves, Diamonds, and Altitude. Uh, what do you think about that? Yeah, so they're definitely very balanced, I would say. In the NL, we have the Pacific Panthers and the Coastal Cougars, two rivals, I'd say, after last year. They met in the final two series because they met in the playoffs. And then in the AL, we have the Wolves, Diamonds, and Altitude, all very capable teams of winning the World Series. Uh, they have, but... I'm going to say AL is probably bit, has a bit of an edge. I would say that as well. But, I mean... We yeah, I'd say that, in my opinion, the two MVP frontrunners are the, the NL. But with the AL, you have great pitching in Logan Rose, Dylan Fisher, and Joey Jankowski. And, um, I, like I said, I think it was the last video, you forget how good Joey and Dylan are because they were the all-star captains before the break, and Dylan just shut down from pitching. So, uh, that, he, the Diamonds could be a sleeper team this year, and... That's going to be one of the big uh, things. And with that, let's transition into our opening day matchup. You guys have been asking for it. We're going to deliver it right here, right now. We got the date and the teams. And it's going to be Saturday, May 1st, opening day, between the home team, the Pacific Panthers, and the away team, the Arctic Altitude. It's going to be a three-game series. Uh, we're not going to reveal the rest of the schedule. That's going to have to be... Uh, you're going to have to follow our Instagram for that, BLW Wiffle Ball. Uh, BLW and then Wiffle Ball has a W in it, so it's two W's in a row. Uh, follow that for the schedule release and a lot more. we got a lot going on over there. But it's two MVP candidates facing off. Carson, Joey. you got probably the two most exciting teams. Uh, you got characters like George Sukar on one side, and then you got 
like rookies like Braden and Jackson Lewis. And uh, I think I'm just thrilled to watch this. You got the expansion team coming in. And the last time Joey and Carson faced off, Carson actually upset them with the roster that he's going to have on opening day, unless he signs someone. Uh, so this is going to be one of the best uh, series uh, that we've had so far. I'm excited for um, hopefully we can take home the dub. Last year I know we didn't start off with the win, or with a series win. I think we won one out of the two, or out of the three games. But if I'm gonna try to sign some people during this off season, but Boss. if Boss. Uh, we can pull the upset like we did last year, yeah, that's definitely gonna be a big factor. And one more thing, um, the uh, the home team means they are home for the first game and the third game, and then the away team is home for the second. So it's not gonna be like whole home for the series. But uh, anything else you like to add about? rosters, anything. Oh, uh, we got an exciting video lineup for you coming up. Uh, I'm not going to reveal it too much, but every two weeks, I believe, and then closer, closer to the season, we're going to start revealing or releasing videos every week or so. Yeah. Uh, we're super close to 1,000 subs, so make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Yeah, yeah our goal is to reach 1,000 subscribers. Okay. By the opening day, we're at about, i say 925, so we need 75 more, and we'd be thrilled. Uh, but with that, uh, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this. Uh, like you said, subscribe, turn notifications on, like the video, and... No, I'm, gonna be a good game. I can tell you that. Yeah, we got under three months, uh, two and a half actually, until opening day, and... Yeah, with that, so uh, that's going to wrap it up, and thanks for watching.